five regions, 50 teams, over 1,800 matches per year. Onivia, League of Legends highlights heaven. Picks here in the top lane in this tournament so far. It is a fine matchup. It is a skill matchup with a slight edge towards Rumble, in my opinion, but we haven't seen it played enough to truly be able to decide that. And we haven't seen a lot of... Laners seem to be able to go even, though. Unless Bengi can find an opening here. Yeah, Jensen kind of got poked down. He does have some, so Bengi's going to get the stun. Lands it, Bengi flashes board, and first blood goes to Elise. The disrespect from Jensen. He saw the QE come out. He saw Elise on his screen, and at that point, you need to... about earlier, you know, even in the mid-game, this will be repeated for SKT. They need to poke down C9 before they fight here. Jensen finally oh, flashes. Oh, no. It's too late. He flashed the stun, but the ulti still killed him. Never finished your color point while Faker's going for an all-in, crap. He gets stunned. Medios again, oh, misses the Q. Dance moves from Faker, twice from Medios now, and now from the flash ult. So much invested by Jensen, expect Bengi to go there as impact. Oh, Juke's actually winning this by himself, but Bengi flashes it again! Yet another kill for the world champion. That's that new Jace right there. C9, they're playing a similar style as they did in playoffs, where they leave Impact on an island. Oh, good Faker. stun again, Faker looking for the all-in. Jensen does get the stun, but Wolf is here to complete it. Ah, oh, the change is here, the new scene. He just opens up with a great presence early on, and this bottom lane is now going to get visitors. Wolf actually going in, but Sneaky's low. Teleport's coming in for SKT, and Sneaky's already been exhausted. Wolf cutting it out of Smoothie, trying to zone, but here comes Juke. But Impact, can he save his teammates? Good flash from Sneaky. Gets his way out from under it. Bang, though, looking to follow through, and Impact just can't do enough. Overheated and silenced. Bang with a double from the Ezreal. This is what's happening. SKT have just been straight. Nah, mimicking that style from playoffs. Another oh, no, not against again. another stun combo from Wolf. Yeah, Wolf goes in. Now's the combo through, and the ult is easy. Whoop! Hey, gets another one! Land the combo, earn the kill. I mean, that makes Better sense. Better than his opponents to the point where he can solo kill them. So they 2v2 run. time. Meteor's gonna get knocked back though by the Jace and stunned in the cocoon by Bangi. Ultimate's nice from Impact, but Bangi looking to go back in. Juke now gonna fight it out. Impact just takes so much damage. Great kick though from Meteor's. Might get himself two as he's chasing. Down for a couple more. They need the kills and Meteor's gets one. And he ends up being a one for one, but when you're this far behind, first kill on the drop back and reassess, but then you're seeding map control over to SKT. When they're ahead, they always look good, and another fight. Keeps getting worse, Sneaky caught. Cocoon just clips him, and Smoothie flash ulties out. He'll save his own life, maybe, but Sneaky, not so lucky. Nah, you can definitely tell that Alistair faded Rush, and then they're probably... They are playing against the strongest team in their group. Well, Jensen again, gonna get all in by Faker. That ultimate's easy clean up. Faker, another kill now. Funnily enough, he's drunk to support Good macro here. Duke maybe can make a good micro to get out of this situation. Nope. Not, not enough. Medios goes back in. Get out though by Thundering Blow. Turret's going down in the meantime, but Impact's looking to chase down for another. Kicked into the wall. Q misses. Medios! That's not what you want at all, but Impact does get the kill. It's very much a meanwhile at moment pastry time. It's going to be an inhibitor turret going down. Faker's looking for some cleanup too. 1v2. Medios goes back in, but the ultimate's not enough to kill Impact. Medios dashes back in, but Faker lunches forward for the kill. Don't you going to be thrown down? Revenge at least is fine. Tower, so we can chase Medios. That forces the flash. Right now, Wolf can play Gatekeeper here. And Faker. Uh oh. Medios, I'm not sure he's going to make his way far in. The Q's run out, and there's the smite away. Easy take there as Wolf might be caught out, but he has his ulti flash been in him. So, unless a miracle flank happens here for Cloud9, I'm not sure this will happen. Bang. Actually, going to oh. Q that flash out of the way, but the rest of Cloud9 are going to chase down. Arcane shifts over the wall on these teams. We're going to try and save him, but Sneaky grabs the shot that Wolf re engages. Oh. That's so much damage from the Jace. Juke gonna get himself exhausted and knocked off, and Jensen flushing out trying to kite the team by Cloud9. Might have made something happen, but Faker grabs a double in and amongst all the chaos. Impact finds his way back into the fight, but I think now he's got a little too far forward. Yeah, I can see exactly how strong it oh. was. Impact drops down. Team fight was strong for C9. If this could happen on even goal, it would be a clean ace, but SKT are just good against Duke. hard engage comes when you're playing close up. Right now we see Duke getting. A little greedy caught out, but he's buying time for his team. He gets knocked up there for the Brom ulti. Rumble ulti's down, and Impact does claim one for C9, but yeah, top lane broken completely through. SK Telecom claimed every single in him. That was coming into the group. Will they finish first? Likely. In what manner? Is what a lot of people were debating still. Very uh, decisive victory here. Combo and Smoothie. Smoothie's gonna drop it. Right now, it's fish in a barrel for C9. Yeah, and it's kind of been that way for most of this game. Kind of ever since that mid game really broke open, SK Telecom 
Looks strong in the lanes. Look, they'll never drop the beat here. Impact, good flash catches himself up under the cocoon, but bangs all in on the Ezreal. Wolf goes in with a double man pole, and there's Meteor trying to chase them out of the way, but Bengi's too far ahead. He will go down as Impact able to take him. And SK Telecom with the Nexus open are going to try and close the game. Sneaky takes out Duke. And they're looking to trade back here, but Bang takes out Sneaky to return. Jensen's going to fall down as Bang gets a double. Meteos falls as well as Wolf claims another victim. And with four dead, SK Telecom will take down Cloud9. Big win for SK Telecom. Mind the gap is what they say right here, because the gap didn't look any closer in this particular game. SKT in full control ever since that very early kill for Faker over Jensen. They snowballed it well. They know how to play with a gold lead. They didn't find many in summer season. Found their first one at Worlds and look great doing it. Yeah, we saw Wolf with mostly good trades in the bottom lane. We saw synergy between Bengi and Duke, between Bengi and Faker. So that speaks really good things for SKT. Right now, obviously, making their way to... We lose one? Impact's gonna hug his old teammates there. Teams will shake hands here, but SK Telecom played it a little close with Bengi having some great...